Hi, so this is uh, another comfy video and uh, I thought I'd do uh, something that's a bit photoshoppy except without using photoshop. What I am going to do is show you how to use layers in comfy UI which um, might seem a bit strange but um, we'll start at the beginning and work through as I usually do and we'll hope that it all makes sense as I go along. So I've set up a style I quite like slightly drawn, sort of retro futuristy, steampunky sort of thing with a few lauras and so on. Um, obviously you, I'll leave you to set up your own style. And what we're doing is we're generating the image out of a, out of a slightly noised image. So I'll, I'll load up a uh, base image. Okay, so here's the image we're going to do. I've loaded up it up here. It's a good bit of street scene. So that's a pretty street scene, isn't it? And what we do is we produce a noised version of it. So that's, um, as you see, we've got our original image there, and it's been resized by our latent size picker there. So it gets automatically resized. And then we can mess with this to, uh, we might increase the contrast a little bit, brightness one notch, it's always hard to tell. And then we have a prompt. Here's our prompt, dystopian steampunk city, etc., etc. I don't expect to produce a wonderful image here, by the way. I, I, uh, I think uh, any image will do, and we'll just see how it comes out. Now, the denoise, I'm having it quite high at 75, so it'll only be vaguely like that. I get a better uh, sort of image not coming out of a noise image, really. It's, it's one of, with flux especially, it's one of your only ways of controlling the whole thing. And there we go, there's our street scene. It is quite nice for a first go, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to seed hunt now and with flux seed hunting is is it's just part of the game you have to do it so i'm going to click through a few seeds okay that one's quite fun but uh, i think there's too many uh too many just things that are wrong with that quite like the big tram but uh obviously this this lot here is beyond the power but what, so what, actually we'll, we'll do this one because it's uh, probably difficult. <laughs> it probably won't work. So, so, uh, so that's probably a good one to try. So we've got, a, we've got an image we quite like. It's got a rubbish tram. So the way of doing variations in, with flux especially, is to uh, alter the flux guidance point by point. But first of all, if we say this is going to be our base image here, so we, we quite like all this but uh, are looking for um, a, a, a better tram. So what we do, we go to our first layer down here, make it active, and then we load our last generation in, which is our tram. And we also load it into here, and we just put that in the floating load image there, so we can see where we started and where, and where we ended up heading towards. And then we make that to never again, and then we can start to do some some um, variations. So we put that to 3.2, cue the prompt, and hope we get a better tram. Right, so that's a slightly better tram, quite a lot better. Mm, I think we'll, we'll have a look at a few more trams. That was 3.2, we'll remember that. Ah, now that looks more like it. I wasn't expecting a blocky tram, but that's quite nice. And what's more, this has actually been a bit too easy. <laughs> expect to click through more seeds than that but uh, but that's that's rather nice uh, and not only that we've got good people so how do we join the two together we join we go back to our first layer so i'm calling these layers like in photoshop though they're not as good as photoshop layers but never mind so then we put that last generation into there and then we paint literally paint in the bits we want and you can see the two together there that's why we have this one here, so we can look at both together. And we can also see, you know, what, where we've got to pick out and transfer stuff. So essentially we can transfer any of this new bit here. And you open your mask editor, and then you just paint over the bits you want. So, and I, I tend to run along lines we've already got. I think we've got to go up here a bit, uh, because of the top of the old tram. But we'll go along that line there. We go around that balcony, down here, and up this balcony. Okay, so that is all of that. And as normal with this sort of thing, you save that to the node. And if you 
Cue the prompt. Lo and behold, there is our new tram inserted into the other scene. We just bring this one across so you can see. Our new tram is very neatly dropped in to our previous scene. And then we turn that to never. Now the other way of getting variations is to alter the denoise. This gives larger changes. So if we just go two points on the denoise, maybe we'll go three points on the denoise and we'll render that. And now I'm just looking for bits that I like more than the bits I've already got. That's quite interesting. <laughs> Rubbish, a <laughs> terrible tram again. But uh, now we can do the same thing. We can use the flux guidance to get variations from this. Now, because we've altered the denoise, we're getting bigger changes. It's quite a fancy tram. Doesn't make much sense, though, does it? So we go to 3.1. And uh, the flux guidance will produce endless variations. And they, they, they won't, not huge variations, but just slight variations. 78 is maybe too much on the denoise. I think 78 is too much on the denoise. We'll drop down to 77. Oh, that didn't make much difference. We'll carry on going up through a few of these. I quite like the roundy fronted um, tram. And uh, you, you need to always also be on the lookout for, for good people because then you can drop them in as well. That's back to our original horrible uh, tram there. I like, quite like that tram. It's a bit bonkers, but uh, they're quite nice. Okay, I quite like that tram. Yes, I think I like that tram. So we'll pop that tram in. We've got a bit of a funny figure there. But other than that, uh, it's quite nice. We could actually not do that bit, perhaps. So let's try that. That would be interesting if we can manage that. So we turn the next section here to always, which is our next layer. And we load that last generation in. And then I want to paint in the bits I want. So again, you open Mask Editor, and I want to like this little scene with the people. I like that balcony. I like that. I'm not keen on that bit. So we'll try leaving that bit out. And, but I like this bit here. <laughs> and I like that awning, but I don't like him on the edge there. We'll have a look round for other bits we like in a moment, but uh, we'll uh, save that to the node and cue that. And there you see, we've got rather a nice, funny looking little door in there, which I don't mind at all. And we haven't got that guy and everything else seems to fit. We've got our good figures here. We've got everything we want, really. Now we can go and look at whatever other things are nicer here. I think all of this, all of this lot here is nicer in this one. I like the flowers. I think we'll have the whole of this here. And I think I prefer... Oh, maybe I, I still want to keep that. So we'll just have this building here, I think. So you might open it up in Mask Editor. We want that building, that building, that bit of sky. And I think we'll have all of that, but we don't want him. Sorry, fella. So we save that to the node. This doesn't have to be perfect. You see, we're, we're going to go through a process of flattening it. And there you go. And the great thing with this is, is it'll pretty much always fit. So th here we've got a bad bit there. We might go and fix that. So if we look at where it is, open in Mask Editor, just here, we'll knock that bit out. And there we go, and our bridge runs all the way across, or near enough anyway. Okay, so then we can do the whole thing again, because we've got another layer here. You don't have to use all the layers, um, and each time you have to turn these to Nova. And then we're looking for some bigger changes now. So we'll go up to 80 here, and we'll go back to 3 on this. So this will produce quite dramatic changes, and I'm just going to pick out a bit, a bit of something that I like, maybe. And each time we're seed hunting. And as you see, that's a much, much bigger change. Well, we've got a fantastic tram. Now, the thing is, can I get this tram and this tram in? Let's see if we can. So it's the same game. Make this active. Make this one active. Make the last layer active. Load the last image into here from temp. And then paint in the bits we want. Hehe. <laughs> I very much doubt if we can get this to fit. We might be able to. Let's have a go. We're going to have a go anyway. This might be a, a step too far. I like that warning as well. I can't think this will work. <laughs> but, uh, there we go. I think we'll have those people actually. So essentially we're slapping in the bottom half of this into our 
image to the front and well it's not impossible is it and it's a much nicer tram and these people here all fitted fine so we just got a bit to sort out here uh we're obviously we're gonna have to uh probably lose that tram and go back but then we can do that really easily we go back to mask editor and we're gonna lose that tram and all of those people i'll um aim to uh zip along one of these tram lines here that should be okay take some little bits out of that as well ah and that's gone strange because that's actually put a little trailer on the back of our uh i rather like that actually that's rather nice i like that okay so we've got a fancier tram and everything else is pretty much the same so now i, I using a method um so that's a, I, I i quite like that i think that's rather nice so now we want to sort of flatten this off uh, I call it flattening off just like that. But essentially what we do is a very um, light, low on the denoise, um, just to pass to, uh, uh, I'm using a denoise of 40, which in flux is quite low. Um, and that should, uh, that should glue everything together. It should, um, all the, there's a few little bits on the edge that don't make sense and this should make them all make sense. There we go. So now we have everything making sense. I quite like all this fancy mechanism on the side here. And all of our people look fine. He looks a bit depressed. And we could take that round again if we wanted to. We could uh, load this image. We'll just do that quickly. We could load that image into here and then go for looking looking for bits that uh, we, we could make better. Um, so we, we turn that off. So there's a bit of crap appeared in the sky there. I'd like to get rid of that. So what we can do is lower the denoise here, back to where we were, cue that. Okay, so uh, this is one of the earlier ones, and what we'll do is just clear up what we um, don't like in our sky. So we've got this junk here we don't really like. So we load that last one in. You could have gone back and loaded one of the earlier ones. It wouldn't have mattered. Uh, and then uh, what we want is... Um, probably just this bit here so uh, what have we got we don't like it's just a few bits in the sky there so I think we'll have those away should be as simple as that we hope and indeed it was and I think that'll do and then uh, th then I would f then I would run this off um, I'll just do it quickly I'd run off off into my refiner which is going to enlarge it and refine it and this is upscaling it I don't think we need the gamma down quite like the um that's pretty good and then we'll refine that and there we have it look at that he still looks depressed <laughs> so this is an image to a stage where i would then take um oh it's put a nice advertising thing on the side of that isn't that clever right anyway this is this is taking it to a stage where i could then go on and refine these figures i wouldn't do it this way then i would i could do in painting to refine any of the bits in here that I didn't like. But the, you see the refined part has glued everything together. It's made much more sense to these wheels. And we've now got a tram driver. And all sorts of good things happened. Okay, so I think that covers it. Um, the way I would read and paint and refine this I've covered in other videos. I'll just quickly run back to the things you can change to affect changes in this to get new good bits. The easiest one is the flux guidance. For larger changes, the basic scheduler here, change the denoise. You can change the steps as well. That will also produce variations. Another thing you can do is to alter the amount of noise running into the image here, into this image. So you can alter how noisy this image is. And that will also um, produce not entire changes. There's always a point where you trigger an entire change um, and if you alter too many of these things then you'll get you'll pass a point and it'll it'll re change all the perspective and the whole composition but for the most part you can make quite dramatic changes and you'll always get new bits and pieces that you can drop in the way to use these is essentially to uh, go looking for bits where you've had improvement and then using this system you can drop them in so it's it's really making a first stage image this is it's uh, constructing a first stage image that you can then work on and take further 
Okay, I hope that was interesting and useful. Thank you very much for your attention.